one of these things is not like the other. One of them's a head gasket and the other one's a liner gasket. The trouble is, I have no idea which is which, but we're about to find out. Open this just in case. It's not obvious. Oh, and welcome back, everybody. In case you hadn't worked it out, we're getting ready to install the liners. All right, so that's the head gasket. It even has instructions. Thank you, Cassandra, for repackaging the product. Um, Awful big box for an awful small thing. So I'll go put that back in the shed and we'll uh, get serious. Happy days. Happy, happy days. G'day everybody and welcome back. Uh, today's the day. Today I'm going to put the liners in. Uh, very, very nervous about it. It's 60 years old. I keep telling myself it's 60 years old. It was going to the scrap heap, but that doesn't make me want to make it work any less and get it right any less. So enough for this. Let's have a quick look at where we're at here. We'll go around the back and have a look at where we're at there. And then we'll uh, bang her in. So I've cleaned all the bores. Uh, I've wiped in around where the seal pushes in and each one I had a little bit of an overhang here sorry I'll get my finger oh, where's my finger gone there it is got had a little bit of an overhang here from some sediment that built up got rid of that now it looks pretty good um, I know when I first run it I'm gonna have some oily looking liquid in the radiator because the amount of goop and shit that's gone down these holes that's fine we'll sort that out later uh, the decks all clean I've got the new gasket um, so here we go, I'll give it another wipe. I'm going to put this gasket on dry. The last one was dry. The head gasket goes on dry. So all the holes are clean. All the threads are clean. Uh, it's time. It's time to do it. So let's do it. Righto. So the liners are all clean. I've cleaned all the grooves. Uh, given them more wipes than I care to think about. Um, I'm reasonably happy. When I want to say reasonably happy, I'm reasonably happy. Gasket's ready. Uh, there is no top and bottom on the gasket. Uh, so I'm going to guess. I want the silver side to be up on the actual tractor. And I'm going to put this on here because I think it'll be easier to get on here than around the other side. And I've already made a boo-boo because I've put this on back to front. I am on fire. Right, let's have another go. These already fits better. Plenty of corrosion on the cylinders, which makes pushing this on and off a bit challenging. Okay, so that's sitting down there. I might just get the air blower. So that's all done. Reasonably happy with it. Fits. Done. 
Now according to the book, you have to take an oil ring. Ah, oh, it's not an oil ring. One of these rubber gasket seals. Dunk it in oil. Apply lubrication to where it's gonna go. And then just slip it on. Making sure not to twist it. And then work it down into the groove. Not that it has a groove. Work, work, it, uh, work it down onto the shoulder. So, that's one done. Why were you nervous, they said? Because it's 65 years old. And I don't want to have to redo this job. If this doesn't work, by the way, I am going to scrap the tractor. I'll probably put it back together, call the scrapper and say, take it away, but I want the tyres back to sell on eBay. And only the back tyres. Actually, only one of the back tyres, really, because it's in good nick. So the key part is to make sure I don't have any twists in the rubber seal. The easiest way to do that, or well the easiest way to do it is just to do it. The easiest way to check that is to run your finger across it. Obviously between I need to just eyeball it. Last but not least, this is cylinder one. So, that's actually the easy bit. They're all down and on the shoulders. Pretty happy with that. Gasket's on the bottom. Pretty happy with that. So... Seals on. Plenty of oil. Now before I lose all that oil, I'm going to go and put it in the tractor. So I'll go set the camera up and then we'll go berserk. So I'm going to put some oil into this seal. Oh, it's not a seal, you idiot. There's a little lip here that you've seen, all seen plenty of times. It's where the seal pushes into. So I'm going to put some oil in that. I'm going to put some oil everywhere because, well, frankly, I just want this to work because I need it to work. So. gonna have a little sticky peak. Make sure I've got oil everywhere. Oil's cheap, tractors aren't. Alright. 
I shall be back and I'm just going to put this straight in place. So here we go. Here goes nothing. Get the seals past the grippy bits. Get the gasket on the pins. Which is proving to be more challenging than it should. suggests we get some bolts and I bet he's giving me the wrong length oh there we go oh, oh I'm scared now all right so what I've bought is 10 bolts 10 washers and much like the reverse of when we took it out, we're just going to put some pressure on it and just ease it down. And they recommend to do this to put the pistons back in so then the liner doesn't move. So we're not actually trying to put a lot of tension on it. We're just trying to sneak it in, sneak it home. The key part here is even pressure. The John Deere book says use two, one here and one here. Um, that was in 1966. I'm not going to be risking that now I've lost the bolt already. I've lost the bolt. Oh, there it is. Oh, going without a washer on one of them. All right, so these nipped up just a little bit, so the tension is on them. So, let's this. Fairly consistent all the way around. And I've still got that gasket sitting up a little bit back here. I'm sure I'm pretty confident it'll squish. Um, but what I'm going to do is put this back over here. Start putting some mass on these bolts. Because what I don't want to do is break stuff. It's already going down.
So this is already going down by itself. Which is both good and terrifying. Which is good because it means it's sliding into where it needs to go without me having to put a lot of force on it. But it also means that the seals theoretically should be just sliding in. almost not enough tension to justify actually using a wrench. So, right. Shut up now until it's down. Righto, the liner bank is back in. Just give it a spin and make sure nothing's running into each other, which doesn't sound like it is. Happy days. All of the lifter push rod holes are clear. The water jacket holes are clear. It's snug down. I might just give that one last check because you know that's how I roll again I don't want to do it up too tight because I'm not actually trying to compress the gasket yet right there you go the liner bank is in after some angst. Now the hole was uh, is here. It's down inside this cylinder here. So I guess the ultimate test is now put it back together and see what happens. So uh, well, I guess the natural next part is to put the front end back on. No. No, no. Uh, next is the pistons. Um, that's a two-person job. I don't have a second person here for a few days due to work, so hopefully back out at the block. We still can't get out there after another day, and we'll have a crack later. I could put the water pump back on. No, because that'll stop me getting the head on. Let's have a look at what we've got in the shed still. So, water pump's still here, air cleaner's still here, they don't count. 
sump can't go in until the pistons go in. Pistons are here. Uh, pistons look pretty good. This is number 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 four. All right, and you can see if I just do this. That line, I'm pretty sure, is where the water hole was. So we're gonna give them a bit of a clean up. Um, not gonna to get too excited. And then slide them back in, work out what tension to put on the bottom bolts. And then once the pistons are back in, we can move to the head. And the head is something we haven't actually looked at yet. So come back over here. What else have we still got? Fuel tank that's last. Fuel filters still have to buy those. Uh, alternator's good, starter motor's good. I lost the dashboard down the back of there. Have to get that in the wall. Um, can't put the push rods back in. Can't put the top cleaner back, uh, the top cover back on. So next is realistically put the head back on. Uh, gotta buy a new tire. Rocket gears, rocket gear probably needs a good clean. Let's see if I can fix this. Anyway, I'm gonna have a look at the head. Thanks for watching. Uh, the liners are back in. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the subscriptions. Uh, we're still not far from starting it, but it's probably, yes, I know I said a week, a couple of days ago, it's still a week. Um, so, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please do. I know if you don't like watching the videos, don't unsubscribe, just don't watch them. Uh, every subscription helps at the minute. So, anyway, see you later. Some cleaning may be required, but it's not too bad looking. Lifter gear, yeah, that needs a clean. See you later.